Marshawn Lloyd, the rookie out of USC, heading to the Green Bay Packers. Thoughts on Marshawn Lloyd? So I, I like this kid. This kid's picking up some steam. He's picking up some buzz right away. Like, it would not surprise me to see him be the true number two behind Josh Jacobs. Um, and I'm not convinced that Josh Jacobs is going to see, you know, 300 plus touches in Green Bay. Like, I think you might see more of a 60 40 split um, type deal. So I think Lloyd has some real value here. I think he's going to be used. Now, He's on the pup list, right? Another one of those guys. So he is, as a rookie, missing some some pretty valuable snaps as we get started here. So the longer his stint on the pup list lasts, the less I I am intrigued. Um, but through OTAs and rookie mini camp and everything else, he was doing a lot of really good things, and it caught the coach's attention. So um, you know, if they're calling him out by name, it's now catching my attention, right? And and it's just something that I'm going to be sure I'm paying attention to. AJ Dillon's still on the roster, and and I think you're right, Kevin. I think eventually Marshawn Lloyd supplants him as the second running back behind um, Josh Jacobs. I want a piece of this offense. I, I I think where where you're getting Marshawn Lloyd here, I think it's worth. I I, I feel like he is worth the stash. So uh, Marshawn Lloyd is is being drafted over AJ Dillon in, in most uh, fantasy drafts there, um, which I, I think that kind of speaks to where everybody thinks that that'll end up, you know, season end type of thing. Um, and where he's coming off the board, you know, he very well may outkick that that coverage and outkick that ADP. Um, yeah, it wouldn't surprise me if we see him potentially sneak up into, you know, running back three type of territory. Um, it also wouldn't surprise me to see him kind of finish kind of right where he is. So uh, this is one of those that you're, you're kind of drafting some upside here. Um, there's some potential here.